In today's video, I'll do something special, which is answering to all your comments. It does not matter what type of comment you have done. I will answer each and every one of them. So this video may be divided into first part, second part or third part, because there are a lot of comments which I have not answered and I'm going to answer each of them one by one. So get ready. Namaste, Sat Shri Khal. I'm Sukhwinder Singh and welcome to Yoga Chaitanya, a channel where you'll find content for improving your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual well-being. If you're new on this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the health updates. So the first comment is on Jal Niti video from Lord A. A. K. In some of the cases, maybe I'll not be pronouncing the names correctly. So I'm sorry for that from the beginning. Uh, his comment is, how long after eating can I do this practice? Thank you for the video. Jalniti is basically the nasal cleansing practice. There is a video you can see which is having all the details. Yes, do not practice immediately after the meal. Three to four hours is a perfect time. But the best time is early in the morning before taking the bath. If you clean your nostrils in the morning by Jalniti, it will help you awaken and it will increase the prana flow and breath flow throughout the day and it will increase your energy level also. Next comment is on Apan Mudra by Rupal Chaudhary 3002. Can this mudra be done while walking post lunch or dinner? Yes, you can practice this mudra post lunch and post dinner. This will help in moving the uh, upon by you downwards but practice it after at least one and a half hours after the meal it's best if you can practice it while sitting before sleeping or just relaxing in any of the sitting postures and doing the mudra at that time sitting will give more effects next comment is on gyan mudra video by the capricorn 1116 can you practice gyan mudra on bed Yes, absolutely. You should practice Gyan Mudra on the bed before sleeping. Apply the Mudra, sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes, manage your breathings. You can practice any of the calming, tranquilizing pranayamas like Brahmari, Anulom Vilom, Nadi Shodhana with Gyan Mudra and then you can move into meditation and then go into the sleep. This will completely change your life. Try it. Next comment is on Surbi Mudra by Danisha Shah 497. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All your videos are truly authentic. Please guide that can we do Surya, uh, Surbi Mudra lifetime and when to do empty stomach or how many minutes after the food Pranam. Pranam ji, uh, yes, you can practice this mudra lifetime, but just you have to check why you are practicing this mudra. What benefits you want to take from the practice and uh, regarding the time yes you can practice this mudra after one hour of food any mudra should be practiced at least 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes three times a day at least 40 to 45 minutes in a day to see the effects and you will see the effects almost after 30 to 40 days now it all depends on how much imbalance you have in the body what type of lifestyle you have what type of diet you take all these factors will vary the result so there is no stringent rule or there is no stringent policy defined that in this particular days you will be getting the results ha huh. answering to the empty stomach yes you can practice this mudra empty stomach it will give you the same benefits. There is no problem in that. You can do it in morning meditation. It will help. Next comment is on Bhastrika by S1N6341. Bhastrika Pranam is very good for lung strength. I am a marathon runner. I have sometimes problem with my breathing. So I started doing it. It helped me a lot in my running and normalization of my breath while running a marathon, a half marathon. Thanks for your nice explanations. A lot of love and blessing from New York. Thank you so much. Since you are practicing Bhastrika, I will say that you should try uh, Kapal Bhati also along with Nadi Shodhana 
and other pranayams all videos are available on our channel with some kumbhak kumbhak is retention of breath you inhale you hold the breath you exhale you hold the breath then you inhale hold the breath exhale hold the breath like that so the application of kumbhak with pranayama will increase your lung capacity and it will improve your awareness level also you will have more precise control over your breath you can also practice viloma pranayama which is like step sequence of breathing which will also enhance your breathing capacity thank you so much next comment is by irupi8191 yes i believe in hand mudras last nights i tried prana mudra believe me it helped me sleep in seconds thank you very much thank you so much i am really happy for you uh, as you might have heard in this video earlier that in the night before sleeping you can practice prana mudra or some other mudras along with some breathing practices humming meditation or silence meditation this will increase the depth the quality of sleep as well as it will make your sleep meditative which is going to transform your life completely try this next comment is on survi mudra by krishna mahabaleshwar dikshit 6749 i hope i am pronouncing the names correctly uh thank you sir for the full information i have cough problem in my throat can this tri dosha mudra works for my cough problem can you suggest any mudra medicine for my problem sir sir first of all i want to tell you that i am not a doctor i am not going to suggest you any kind of a medicine this is not my cup of tea for this you should visit your physician or any cardiovascular specialist for managing this cough which is basically coming from the cough dosh which is producing phlegm in your body you should do prana mudra surya mudra this will increase heat in the body in addition to this you can practice bhastrika pranayam kapalabhati pranayam at the slow pace try incorporating surya namaskar in your daily schedule or you can start jogging or running this will increase heat in the body plus it will lower down the cough dosh also change your diet uh next comment is by savina sadhu 794 sir between nadi shodhana pranayam or chandra bhedan pranayam which is more better for concentration and memory please reply uh you might have seen if you have seen both the videos of nadi shodhan or chandra bhedan chandra bhedan is basically moon piercing we are working on the feminine part of the body the lunar cycle the shakti so if you work on the left side of the body the left nostril it is going to engage the opposite brain hemisphere which is the right hemisphere of the brain so basically nadi shodhana is working on both the nadis which is aida and pingala both the male and the female the masculine and the feminine shiv and shakti both so if you are working on both the hemispheres the corresponding brain hemisphere will also be engaged so nadi shodhana is more beneficial for brain functioning concentration and memory so you can practice nadi shodhana but when you want to engage the right hemisphere of the brain or you want to become passive or you want to increase your moon energy then the chandra bhedan pranayam comes into role okay i hope i answered your question next comment is from shanti natarajan 5970 i hope i am saying the names correct whether any type of mudra can be practiced while walking i answered this earlier i will answer it once again no problem you can practice any mudra while walking but you will get more results if you will practice it while sitting especially during meditation or the pranayama practice try to do practice of meditation and pranayama it will add more benefits to your life and this will allow you to go within search about yourself your real truth so you will taste something different next comment is on apan mudra by vijay yadav 5593 what effect is in large intestine colon rectum can i do apan mudra to get rid of this If you have vat dosh increased vat level in the body apan mudra will help since apan is downward flowing prana which takes the residual or you can say 
the gases or the stool and the urine out of the body. So it will help in removing the vat out of the body. In addition to that, you should do Vayu Mudra, which is by folding the index finger like this, which we have a video on this. Vayu Mudra will also reduce the air effect, which is the increased vat level in the body. At the same time, you should check your diet. Are you eating those kind of foods which are increasing more vat level in your body? Because mudras will help you on a small level. If your diet is incorrect, then the mudras are not effective that much. So you have to go on to the root levels to check what you are eating, why the vat level is, is so much in the body. If that is not the case, then you should uh, talk to an Ayurvedic doctor. An Ayurvedic doctor will guide you better to know the constitution of your body, what type of issues you are facing, why this vat is increasing in the body. Okay, ji? Thank you. Next comment is on Surbi Mudra by Sweetwater1978. Thank you. It was very useful and informative. How long this mudra to be practiced and any mantra to chant? You can practice any mudra for 10 to 15 minutes twice or thrice a day. And any mudra will take at least 30 to 45 days to show the results. Yes, you can chant any mantra along with it. One thing I want to add that Surbhi Mudra is slightly peculiar since you have to use your fingers in a typical way and it's not that much comfortable. So whenever you are feeling uncomfortable, just release your hands, shake your hands and then practice once again. Don't hold too much when you are not comfortable, especially in case of Surbhi Mudra. Next comment is on Vayu Mudra by Naina Kapoor. G J 5 J L Sir, kya vatu mudra se blood pressure badhata hai? That means she wants to ask that does this vayu mudra will increase blood pressure? No, it will not increase blood pressure. It reduces the air element in the body. Main Hindi mein bhi bol deta hu. Vayu mudra se blood pressure nahi badhata hai. Wo vayu tatv, yani ki badha hua air ko kam karne mein madad karti hai. Next comment is by, oh my god, such a big name. Hanif Lokhandwala Khandwal 1352. I am sorry if I have taken your name incorrect. Uh, which mudra to practice if you are suffering from polyps in the nose? Ayurveda defines nasal polyps closely related to increased kaf dosh. Now, vitiated kaf dosh promotes the growth of polyps in the walls of the blood vessels as well as the surrounding muscular tissue to rise to swelling. So in this case, to handle this polyps issue, you can try steaming, jaliti, as well as sure mudra, and you can try nasya, which is applying the nasal medicated oil into the nostrils. For this, you should consult an Ayurvedic doctor who will guide you what kind of medicated oil you should apply into your nostrils. I'll see you in this video next.